this video is about the rear brake of the T7. For off-road you don't want a too grabby brake, but for me it lacks the feedback that I want and you have to use a lot of foot movement to work the brake. Today I will install the Camel ADV brake fix and see how it feels. So let's head back to the garage. Okay, let's get the fix. I have too many drawers now. Okay, so we have unboxing. Here's the actual lever and I can... Oh, it's massive and it's not unbreakable or unbendable but it's really a difference in rigidity. Bits and pieces, grease and some washers. All right, let's get this on. Also the original brake lever, it's a bit flimsy like this. Okay, let's first do some measurements just to see the difference. Okay, here it starts at four centimeters and then let's push this down. Ah, looks like my kid bit me, but I could push it down to 10 centimeters. So that's six centimeters travel and that's just using my hand. So with the MX boots and my weight on, I guess it could go down further. So let's start removing this one and yeah, see what happens. There's the pin and the bolt. As you see, I upgraded also while I get the, the brake fix, I got the foot pegs as well. I had the lower ones, but nah, I like the no standard size or height. There. All right, here it is. Time for a clean. It's even mud in here. Apparently this bugger is the toughest one of them all. It connects, uh, holds the, the brake light switch. Luckily I got myself pressured air. <laughs> got debris on my glasses. That one is a bugger. And it's, I cannot get a good grip. I think it worked. Yes, good one. All right, and here we have a little hook. We'll do as Corey did, because I got myself one. Vice, so I had to use it. It's coming. So, the old lever. Apparently, we're not going to use anything of this. So let's put it aside. Shiny, but not Chinese. It's just shiny. I'm not alone in this. Corey is here on the bench helping me out. So let's see what he has to say. Here's a bushing. This is going to go in here. Okay, job now. Put this bushing or whatever it's called in here. And there's a groove in there, which just begs to be filled with grease. There's a groove and now it's greased. And now the spring comes on like that. Push it up over the edge. That was quite smooth. Okay. Wow. It has good force upwards also. Okay, let's tighten this one. 
Does it look good? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so now this goes on with the little nut and it's going to be a bit tricky. Ah, it's gripped already. That's nice. Okie doke. This one goes something like this. So we have a longer leverage, not from here, but from a bit back, so. Okay, now for the little hook, goes on here. And something like this. Actually, these bolts, I had a really hard time getting these in place because the, this is the frame coming here and I couldn't get the holes to match. But that was because I was on the, the lift pushing the skid plate and the frame upward. So I had to take it off the lift. So make sure you don't have too much pressure uh, on here to get this on. 52 newton meters. Twenty-three is not much. Adjusting the height of the pedal. It's quite exactly level now, I think. I'm gonna start there. It's going to be sort of just pressure, how much not much travel, but how much I push it. Now let's see the brake light. The light in the back. Okay, I, I have to push really hard for the brake light to come alive, so I have to adjust. Now I have to adjust this little because it takes too much pressure to get to the, where the braking lights activate. So now, yeah, much more sensitive, but not the first little touch, but just a little press and it comes on. So that's good. Before we had eight centimeters, now we have just over five centimeters. So it's three centimeters further into the bike. And the range that I can push it down is, I can push it down three centimeters with my hands without getting injured. So six centimeters before, now it's three centimeters. And I actually pushed on this smooth surface here so I could give some extra push. So it's definitely shorter. So there it is. Installed, ready to go. Let's go out for a test ride. All right, <laughs> the difference is immediate. It's, I don't have that much play, but when I want to break, it's more like a pressure pad than a lever to pull or push. So I can really, lock it when I want to and just easy peasy when I want to, yeah? I do enjoy this this new brake fix actually I think it is a fix I think I have to do a stop turn So there we have it, the Camel ADV brake fix. And I do think it is a fix actually. Um, I prefer it like this because I still have the same set the sensitivity. But as I said before, it's more like a pressure plate than a lever that you have to push. So I get more feedback from the pedal and just decide how much 
pressure I want to give it, then it gives about two or three centimeters when I use it, maximum. So, yeah, good piece of kit. Thanks, Corey. And uh, yeah, I have the new upgraded suspension on the bike. Uh, revalved new, yeah, I sent it to a, a suspension specialist and they did their best on it uh, for me. So there'll be a video on that. And if you want to see when I sort of remounted the forks and rear shock and everything, there was a live thing there. So yeah, you can go check that out if you want. It's from the old shed. So yeah, see you later and until the next video, ride safe.